The longest season in Siena basketball history was guaranteed to end this afternoon in one of two ways. Either Siena was going to lose back-to-back -back home games for the first time all year, or the Saints would be cutting down the nets in celebration of their first ever Division I national postseason title. Game three of the CBI championship series with Fresno State, the Bulldogs forced today's if necessary game in Loudonville with a one-sided win on Wednesday. Like Wednesday, the arc was packed. Siena students enjoyed free bacon pregame before stuffing the gym for this morning's 11:30 tip-off. Now, three days ago, Fresno State shot 76 percent in the first half, and Siena fell behind by 22 before intermission. Today, quite the opposite. Fresno State shot just 18 percent in the half. It was Siena that raced out to a double digits lead. Levon Long scored eight points. The Saints led by 17 at the half. And in the second half, the Bulldogs struggle to get any traction. Paul Watson misses the dunk. And at the other end, Rob Poole scores to give Siena a 21-point lead. The rest of the way, Fresno State got no closer than nine points. Evan Himes misses, but Marquise Wright the follow. The freshman point guard scored a dozen. Poole finished with a game-high 23 points. And sophomore Brent Bisping will add the exclamation point. Good luck keeping the students off the floor. It was a surreal scene inside the arc as Saints Nation celebrated a title and one of the great turnarounds in NCAA history. A year ago, Siena won just eight games. Today, the 20th victory of the year. It's so much fun, so much fun. You know, we definitely worked hard this whole season. Thanks to Passos, he's moving us to the right direction. It's awesome. I've never been on something like that before. Woo! So it's just like, you know what I mean? So it's something different. I really enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. It's very special. Um, coming out, all the fans right here, it's exciting to win it for them. After the game, Siena coach Jimmy Pazos called Brett Bisping the most improved player in college basketball this season. Today, the sophomore out of Peoria, Illinois, scored a game-high 23 points. He grabbed nine rebounds, and Bisping was named the tournament's most valuable player. I mean, that's fun, but the championship's better. The team win. That's what it's about. We had to go out and take it for ourselves, so that was kind of the mentality we had. It's a great feeling. I mean, it's, I mean, it's, it's a lot of fun. I really, I'm speechless. It's a great feeling. This is the first national postseason title for any MAC school, but it's not Siena's first national title. At the Division I level, yes, but in 1950, Billy Harrell led the Saints to a National Catholic Invitational title. Now, that banner hangs in the arc, and Harrell was in the arc, too. Coach Patsos made sure the former major leaguer and biggest Saints legend of them all was front and center during the celebration. He played in the major leagues in the NBA, so he's the greatest guy that ever played here. And just it's because that's as far back as this tradition goes. And all these guys up here, and Evan's going to be here and Rob Poole because they scored a thousand points. But it goes back to Billy. It started with him. And once again, that's why I just Siena basketball is what I'm about. I'm about the school and the program, not about me. And these players will come and these players will go, but the program will sustain. I'm lucky to be here.